Okay, so there's a lot to unpack before you hit the ballot box. So Proposition 1 deals with letting an elected municipal judge serve as a judge in more than one municipality at the same time. A pro of passing this one is that it could make it easier for smaller municipalities to fill empty judgeships and streamline certain processes. But some think it's not really necessary because appointed municipal judges can already serve in more than one municipality at the same time. Proposition 2 would let the Texas Water Development Board issue more general obligation bonds of up to $200 million for the economically distressed areas. Proposition 3 deals with taxes in disaster areas. If passed, it would allow the Texas legislature to temporarily stop taxing property damaged by a disaster. Proposition 4 would make it even harder for Texas to collect an individual income tax. If passed, it would get rid of a clause that would allow the state to implement the tax if the legislature votes for it. Proposition 5 would give our sales taxes on sporting goods to Texas Parks and Wildlife and the State Historical Commission, taking it from the state's general fund. Lawmakers would still decide how it's used, though. Proposition 6 would allow the state legislature to increase the maximum bond amount for the Cancer Prevention and Research Institute from $3 billion to $6 billion. Proposition 7 would give more money to schools, increasing distribution to the available school fund from $300 to $600 million. Proposition 8 would create a flood infrastructure fund from the state's rainy day fund, setting aside money for drainage, flood mitigation, and flood control. If Proposition 9 is passed, lawmakers would be able to create a property tax exemption for precious metals kept in a depository in Texas. And lastly, Proposition 10 would let law enforcement animals go to a qualified caretaker after they retire. Right now, the state doesn't let public property like police canines go to a private person or organization for free. Proposition 10 would remove that required fee. If you're still a little confused, don't worry, you're not alone. Just head to kxtv.com for a deeper breakdown of our state propositions.